After the great battle against Granola, Goku felt the need to polish his skills even more, as he had realized that his power was not enough to beat opponents like Granola, and Black Frieza had defeated him with a single blow. For this reason, he decided to use the Room of Time once again to strengthen himself as he had done. Once Goku was in the Sacred Temple, he entered the Time Chamber with determination, being ready to face new challenges and overcome his limits. The door would close soon after he entered, and the space around him distorted as time sped up inside the room. At that instant, Goku was ready to begin his training, so he would use all his power from the start. So he would transform into his Ultra Instinct Mastered Form. He would start throwing punches all over the place in order to improve the speed of his attacks and also his power. But after a while, Goku would get even more tested and he would throw a Kamehameha with all his might into the room. However, as he did that, a strange glow surrounded the room the moment his attack hit due to all the force his attack had released. For a moment, Goku had been puzzled, so he decided to check what had happened. As he walked a little closer to the entrance, he would notice that the door to the room had just disappeared. But not only that, but the clock was not moving regularly either, as time had apparently been distorted. What does this mean? Everything was still and frozen, as if time itself had stopped, because the flow of time had been altered. Apparently, now the room was not causing Goku to age, even though time was still flowing very strangely. However, Goku was unaffected by this anomaly, and decided to take advantage of the situation, and begin his training as if nothing had changed. Well, I guess this means I'll have plenty of time to train! With a determined smile, Goku launched into his training in which he would spend day after day perfecting his techniques, explore new limits, and strengthen his spirit. As time passed, Goku would notice that his power continued to increase, and he pushed himself to the limit to explore every corner of his potential. He was unaware that he was spending more time than usual in the room, and it would surely be too many years before he would be able to leave that place, but at least he would not be affected by the flow of time. In fact, even though hundreds of years would be passing inside that place, on the outside only a little bit of time would be passing, because the flow of the room was altered in both dimensions. Meanwhile, Goku continued his endless training. Each day represented a new opportunity to improve, to overcome his limits, and reach new heights of power. The room each time put scenarios and climates too intense to test Goku, since as its functioning was altered, it also presented more extreme behavior so that Goku was forced to train harder. With the passage of time, Goku would have already mastered all his abilities and taken his power to a totally unimaginable level. But not only that, as he had achieved a transformation that transcended beyond Ultra Instinct, and all thanks to training for so long, although he would still have other surprises to show later. However, despite all the power he had achieved, he still missed his friends and family, whom he hoped to see again when he could leave that place. Don't worry guys, I promise we'll see each other soon. Goku had said that with a smile, and would continue to dedicate himself to his arduous training. And finally, after billions of years had passed inside the room, suddenly something happened, as a crack in the fabric of time and space opened up before Goku, revealing what appeared to be an exit, as it showed a bright light that enveloped him completely. I can't believe it! I can finally get out of this place! It didn't take long for Goku to enter through that slit, and he finally exited the Room of Time, returning back to his world. Because the room was totally distorted and altered, he hadn't felt the passage of time as much, which had made it easier for him to cope with being alone in that place. But Goku would not dwell on that, as the only thing that mattered at that moment was being able to see the smiling faces of his friends and family. That's why he would use teleportation, which he mastered to such an extent that he didn't need to feel someone's power to get there. He just had to think of the place. For that reason, he would decide to go to the Capsule Corporation, as most of his friends used to be there. Goku would instantly appear just by thinking of that place, and he would meet most of his friends, as well as his family, who were gathered in that place, just as he thought. They would all be surprised to see him, for they did not expect him to arrive so suddenly. For them, it hadn't been more than a week since he went to the Time Room. Vegeta would be the first to feel Goku's awesome power, so he would be quite surprised, as he didn't understand how it was possible for him to have that incomprehensible level. What does this mean, Kakarot? Why is your power so abysmal? You wouldn't believe it, Vegeta. It's been a long journey for me, but I'm finally back. 
After his return from the time chamber, Goku would take it upon himself to tell everyone what had happened when he was in that place, leaving everyone stunned with the details of what had happened. After hearing what he had told, Vegeta and the others wanted to see the result of his training, to see the power he had acquired after being trapped for so long. I really find it hard to believe, but I can feel your new level of power, and it must be true. That's right, I feel stronger than ever, Piccolo, and I have something special I want to show you all. Whatever it is, do it at once! With a smile, Goku concentrated and began to release a small fraction of his newfound power to everyone present. A bright and powerful aura surrounded him, causing everyone in the room to take a step back from Goku's overwhelming presence. But then his power would suddenly surge, causing his body to emit a great glow, which made it difficult to see what was going on. But soon after, it could be seen that Goku was surrounded by a golden aura similar to the Super Saiyan, but with an intensity quite large, as if they were burning flames. But what had also appeared were some dark marks on his arms, while his hair also looked as if it were a moving fire. His eyes were quite clear like those of the Ultra Instinct, which made him look as if the sun itself had taken shape. Everyone was speechless at the magnificence of Goku's transformation. It was evident that his time in the time chamber had not been in vain, and that they were now faced with a warrior more powerful than ever. This is not possible. It's a level I could never have imagined. Incredible! I've never felt so much energy in the air before. Dad, how did you reach this level of power? It was a long and difficult process, Gohan, but thanks to the time I spent in the time room, I was able to concentrate on my training like never before. With a determined expression, Goku continued to show off his newfound power, performing agile movements to demonstrate his newfound speed, which he had never used before. What about that new look? It's amazing! After fighting on the planet of Granola and losing to Black Frieza, I realized that the Ultra Instinct Doctrine had not evolved, because it requires me to always be calm, and my Saiyajin Instinct prevents me from being like that all the time in a fight, so I ended up developing this new form that allows me to use my full potential. I'm more than happy to teach you everything I've learned. Vegeta felt quite displaced compared to Goku, since his new power was far superior to his, so he decided to confront him to see for himself how much difference there was between the two. I can't stand the idea of being so far behind, so Kakarato, I ask that we have a match right now. Sure, that's more than fine with me, Vegeta. After saying that, they would both take to the air to reach the sky, so as not to cause so much damage near their friends and family when the fight started. Once they were in the air, Vegeta would quickly use the Ultra Ego transformation, as he knew he couldn't take this fight lightly. Goku got into a fighting stance in front of Vegeta, who was watching him with great determination. Both warriors exchanged intense glances, each ready to give his best in the confrontation that was to come. Are you ready, Vegeta? I always am, Kakarot. Show me what you're made of. With a glint in his eye, Goku lunged towards Vegeta with impressive speed as his aura radiated overwhelming power as he lunged at his opponent with an energy-charged punch. I will not underestimate your power, Goku! Vegeta responded to the challenge with a burst of energy, hoping to damage Goku before he could get him with that punch. However, Goku would not stop for those energy blasts, and would continue to close in quickly to attack him. Vegeta would have no choice but to try to attack him with a punch to try to reduce the impact, since he knew that if he blocked it, he would be more damaged. Then both would collide their fists, but in the same second that the impact happened, Vegeta would fly away, since Goku's blow was more powerful. However, he would propel himself to return to the attack, as he did not plan to fall so easily. The sky would be filled with flashes of energy from the clash of blows that Goku and Vegeta had. During their fierce confrontation, every punch, every kick echoed in the air, showing the incredible power they had achieved after so much training. Stop holding back on me! I know you haven't proven anything yet! With a roar of determination, Vegeta increased his power to the maximum, turning into a purple aura that radiated an even greater power than before thanks to his anger. Goku smiled at the challenge, accepting his friend and rival's provocation. Then I will demonstrate my true power, Vegeta! With a battle cry, Goku also released all his ki, surrounding himself with a golden aura that spread across much of the sky. You could tell the difference in power levels between the two, but that only further fueled Vegeta's desire to surpass him, so he just smiled self-centeredly. Since their short confrontation was shaking the entire planet, both would use their most powerful final attacks in order to decide everything with a clash of powers. Both would gather enough energy to attack, and when they finished doing so, a dazzling flash filled the sky as their energies were released. 
the instant their attacks had impacted. Many shockwaves shook the place due to the power of their attacks. The earth trembled under their feet, and the sky darkened with the intensity of their battle. The earth trembled under their feet, and the sky darkened with the intensity of their battle. But that would only last a few seconds, as Goku's Kamehameha was at another level, and would overcome Vegeta's attack without any problems. That would cause a huge explosion in the sky, which could be seen from miles away. With that final show of strength, it was clear that Goku had won. Vegeta, though defeated, smiled proudly at the spectacle of his friend's strength. You really have reached an incredible level of power. I couldn't do anything against that. But don't think that's why I'm going to give up. I'll keep training to reach that level too. I wouldn't expect anything less from you, Vegeta. With a smile of camaraderie, Goku and Vegeta shook hands, ending their epic confrontation with a gesture of mutual respect. Though they were rivals on the battlefield, as they were also friends and allies in the fight to protect the universe. After the thrilling fight between Goku and Vegeta, the two Saiyans met up with the rest. It could be seen that Vegeta was hurt from the small encounter he had just had against Goku, in addition to the explosion of the Clash of Powers. When they arrived back with the others, they would both return to their base state, as it was no longer necessary to remain transformed. The Z Warriors had been speechless after seeing Goku and Vegeta's fight, since only a small part of Goku's power had been able to defeat Vegeta at his maximum power. It was quite interesting to test my new power. I couldn't help but feel a little excited during the fight. I admit that the demonstration of power was impressive, even though I lost. It gives me an idea of how far the potential of the Saiyans can go. It was impressive to see them in action. I even felt chills just from that little show of strength. Dad, you are amazing. Your power never ceases to amaze me. That was amazing. Just watching you guys made me want to train to be as strong as you. I can gladly help you with your training. But for now, I think I'd like to eat something, since I haven't been able to eat anything good since I was in the time chamber, since I had to prepare it myself. Once Goku had said that, he set out to eat along with the rest of his friends, as he was eager to try something delicious after such a long time. However, in the middle of the meal, Goku would have a little memory about Broly, so he couldn't help but feel a slight for the legendary Super Saiyan and what had become of him, since the last time he had seen him was on that uninhabited planet during one of his previous adventures. He knew Broly was a powerful warrior, so he decided it was time to visit his planet to make sure everything was in order, and to test his strength as well. Hey, I just thought about visiting Broly's planet. It would be interesting to have a training match against him, since he is someone very powerful without requiring so much training. Are you sure that's a good idea, Kakarot? Don't you think it might be a little dangerous? I don't think so. Besides, if anything should happen again, I'll make sure to stop him. You don't have to worry about it. After having finished eating, Goku would say goodbye to his friends and family. As long as he headed to Broly's planet with his teleportation, Goku would instantly arrive at Broly's planet, which was right on that spot. Broly seemed calm and peaceful with his friends, but they were surprised when Goku suddenly appeared. Hello everyone! How have you been? Has Broly been training lately? Don't scare us like that! We thought that Frieza Tyrant had found us! You're right, that gave us quite a scare. I'm sorry, it wasn't my intention. I just wanted to stop by to see if everything was going well. Anyway, it's good to see you, and if you're wondering, I have been training and meditating to find the inner peace to master my power. Although the truth is, that I haven't made much progress. I see, but if you like, I can help you with that, since I just got a new power after training for a long time. I know what I'm saying doesn't make much sense right now, but I'll explain it to you. Goku would start to tell Broly a little bit about what he had just experienced in that room where time had passed too many years. So many that Broly would not understand such amounts. To tell the truth, Broly did not understand very well those concepts of time, but in a few words, he understood that Goku trained for many years. I see, and you're telling me that you want to try this new power and help me in my training. Exactly! That way I can help you if things get out of control. Are you sure about that? I don't know if it's the wisest thing to make him unleash his full strength even though you've gotten stronger. Don't worry, what's the worst that could happen? Before they could continue their conversation, a powerful energy would be felt in the place, so Goku and Broly would look up to the sky, only to run into Frieza, who was floating in the sky with a sinister smile on his face. He had just come down from his ship in order to visit Broly, as he had plans for him and his great strength. 
So, this is where you've been hiding out, Broly. I must say, it's a planet even I wouldn't sell. What are you doing here, Frieza? What do you want from us? <laughs> Dear Broly, I'm not here to hurt you. On the contrary, I'm just here to offer you a little deal. Whatever comes from you, we don't want it and neither does he. Just leave us alone. In other circumstances, I wouldn't tolerate such insolence from you. But seeing that Goku is in this place, I'm going to ignore you. Since this is a perfect opportunity for you to see what happens when you challenge me. Goku would only stare at Frieza, remembering what had happened last time. But he was aware that the result would be different this time. Meanwhile, Frieza would proceed to unleash his full power as he slowly approached them, transforming into his most powerful form, which was known as Black Frieza. What's wrong, Goku? Are you afraid of losing like you did that time? I assure you that I've changed a lot since that fight. Now you'll see what I'm capable of. Don't make me laugh! It's not possible that you could have changed so much in such a short time. At that instant, Goku would give a loud battle cry only to unleash his incredible power, which would leave everyone astonished by Goku's overwhelming presence, as he gave off an aura that was too intense. And finally, it could be seen that Goku had transformed into that form he had acquired in the time room. Broly and the others watched with amazement, and at the same time some fear for the power that emanated from that transformation, since they had not seen anything like that. Frieza was the one who was the most puzzled, since he did not understand how it was possible that he had reached such an abysmal power like that. This doesn't make sense. How did you get another transformation in such a short time? The same way you did. I used a time room. Actually, I didn't need to transform to defeat you, but I want you to see what I've accomplished. You're too confident as usual, but I don't care. Now it's my turn to destroy you. The battle between Goku and Black Frieza was about to begin, and the two warriors looked at each other attentively before starting their fight. Quickly, the two would launch into the attack with incredible speed, in order to hit their respective opponents. However, in just an instant, it could be seen that the first blow had been taken by Frieza, which would make him bleed because of the force with which Goku had hit him. I'm sorry, did I overdo it with my strength? Goku had said that with a slight mocking tone, as Frieza seemed to be quite upset at being hit like that. Don't mock my power, you damn ape! With a burst of energy, Black Frieza lunged towards Goku again, intending to smash him through with a quick punch. But Goku gracefully dodged the attack, moving with incredible agility that left his opponent bewildered. Too slow, Frieza. Looks like you still have a lot to learn. Black Frieza growled in frustration and increased the intensity of his attack, launching a series of quick punches and kicks that Goku dodged with ease. The Saiyan seemed to be toying with his opponent, enjoying the challenge the battle presented. That's all you got? I thought you'd be a little more exciting to face. Shut up, Goku! Don't make fun of me! With a roar of fury, Black Frieza intensified his assault, launching a blast of dark energy toward Goku. But the Saiyan simply folded his arms and deflected the attack with ease. You should try harder if you want to stand a chance against me. Goku's confidence was at an all-time high as he continued to dodge Black Frieza's attacks with surprising grace and accuracy. Although his opponent was powerful, Goku had all the upper hand in the battle. Well, Frieza, it's time for me to show my true power. With a battle cry, Goku unleashed a blast of brilliant energy that lit up the sky, enveloping Black Frieza in a dazzling aura. The enemy staggered in the face of the Saiyan's overwhelming power, unable to stand his ground in the face of his incredible strength. Now you'll see what I can do when I take myself seriously. With a swift move, Goku lunged towards Black Frieza with incredible speed, launching a series of punches and kicks that struck with unbelievable precision. Each blow resounded with a deafening roar, sending shockwaves that shook the entire planet. Frieza was taking an incredible beating in his best transformation. He couldn't even react or see the blows he was receiving. He only felt the impact as he shed more blood. It was evident that he was being overcome by Goku's power and skill, and as the battle continued, Frieza would eventually fall to the ground, unable to withstand any more attacks. Still think you can win, Frieza? Frieza growled in frustration as he got back up to fight Goku again, launching several energy beams at him. But every move he made was countered by his opponent's superior skill. It's useless, Frieza. If you don't decide to give up, then it's time for me to put an end to this. With one last effort, Goku began to gather his energy in a powerful final attack, generating a giant sphere of energy, giving Frieza an idea of all the power he contained. 
as Goku had technically shown nothing of what he could really do. Frieza was totally terrified by that power, so he would have no choice but to resign himself to accept his defeat, in order to come out of it alive. Have you had enough, Frieza? I'll show you mercy if you promise not to cause trouble in the universe again. You've had enough, Frieza. I'll show you mercy if you promise not to cause trouble in the universe again. Frieza nodded weakly, as he was filled with anger, acknowledging his defeat before Goku's overwhelming power. I'm retiring for now, but rest assured, I'll be back stronger than ever. With a nod of approval, Goku walked away from his defeated opponent, knowing he had done the right thing by showing mercy. For that reason, Goku would simply return to his normal mode, as he had made it clear to Frieza that it was not worth continuing. But when Goku turned his back on him to leave with Broly and the others, Frieza would look at him in frustration due to the fact that he felt humiliated like never before, and all he wanted was to get back at him. Don't you dare turn your back on me, Goku! I'm not done with you yet! Frieza roared in fury and mustering all his remaining energy. He launched his supernova attack at the Saiyan from behind. But Goku was prepared and reacted with a quick move, deflecting his enemy's attack with ease into the sky, making it explode in midair. Haven't you learned anything, Frieza? No matter how many times you face me, you can never match my power. Goku would quickly grab Frieza by the arm in order to immobilize him and prevent him from attacking again. Frieza growled in frustration as he tried to break free from Goku's grip, but the Saiyan was too powerful to be overcome. With one swift move, Goku threw his foe to the ground and pinned him with a foot to the chest. Listen, Frieza, I've already defeated you once. Give up and leave me alone. Frieza spat some blood with contempt, while his face showed the anger and frustration he felt. I'll never give up, Goku! I promise I'll get revenge for this humiliation! Goku sighed with resignation, knowing that there was no way to reason with his enemy. Because of that, he made a quick move, hitting Frieza in the weak spot, knocking him unconscious on the ground. I'm sorry, Frieza, but it seems you have no intention of learning from your mistakes. With one last look at his defeated opponent, Goku would turn around and return to Broly and the others, as Frieza was no longer a threat. After the confrontation with Black Frieza, Goku would finally return to Broly and the others, so that they could resume their conversation. Although, to tell the truth, they were still quite surprised by the power Goku had shown during the fight with Frieza. What was that all about, Goku? I don't remember you having a power like that when you fought Broly on Earth. Let's say some things happened, but I'll tell you in detail later. This place isn't safe if Frieza is around. How about if I take you somewhere else? Sure, that's fine with me. Anyway, any place is better than this uninhabited planet. Alright, then put your hands on my shoulders. I know where we're going. Everyone would follow Goku's directions and grab him by the shoulder, as he planned to teleport to take them with him to a place where they could be calmer, because Goku wanted to face Broly without holding back. So with a quick gesture, he quickly teleported to the planet of Beerus. In just an instant, Goku and Broly were already standing in the lush landscape of the planet of Beerus, where the majestic palace of the god could be seen in the distance. But besides that, in front of them was Beerus, because Goku had to feel his energy to be able to reach that place. His presence would surprise Broly and the others, since it was the first time they had met the god of destruction. On the other hand, Beerus was also quite surprised by Goku's sudden visit, since he was eating with Whis at that moment. But beyond that, both Whis and Beerus could feel a great change in Goku's power, a rather overwhelming one. What are you doing here? I told you before that this is not a hotel to be bringing so many people. More importantly, what have you done, Goku? Why does your key feel different than usual? Mr. Beerus is right. You look quite different, Goku. Well, now that we are all gathered, I think it would be appropriate to tell you everything that happened. At that point, Goku would proceed to tell them everything that had happened during his visit to the Time Room, letting them know that he had trained for billions of years. But since the workings of the Time Room had been altered, he had not aged at all, nor had he spent hardly any time outside. On top of all that, Goku took the opportunity to introduce them to Broly and his friends, so that they could get to know each other. Although, to tell the truth, Beerus had taken an interest in Chile, as he somehow found her attractive. After all the explanations, Beerus and Whis would be analyzing what had happened. 
I think I understand what you just told them. That would explain why your energy is quite different from what you had recently. I am intrigued to know how powerful you have become after that hard training. Same here. I'd like to see for myself if you've finally become a formidable opponent. Sure, but right now I'd like to demonstrate my strength with Broly, since that's why I brought him to this place. Is that guy named Broly really strong enough to fight you? That's right, he's very strong. I don't think you've seen him in action, but believe me, he's worth it. That's why I want to have a fight against him. Very well, then I will allow you to fight on my planet. I think we'd better get to safety. This will be disastrous. I think the same as you. This will get very intense. After finishing their talk, Beerus and the others would move aside a little so that Goku and Broly could start their fight. Besides, Beerus would also be in charge of placing a protective barrier in order to protect Broly's friends. Meanwhile, Goku and Broly were ready to begin and were in combat position. Okay, Broly, this is where we'll test our limits. Yes, Goku, I'm ready to show all my power. Just at that moment, Beerus and the others were watching their moves, as they were very intrigued to see the new scope of Goku's powers, so he watched them with curiosity and surprise. Goku and Broly prepared for combat, each focusing their energy and determination, causing the plates to start shaking from the intensity of their powers. And with a battle cry, the two began to exchange punches and kicks with incredible speed and ferocity. Come on, Broly! Show me everything you've got! Alright, here I come! The blows continued to echo throughout the place, being too fast for the eyes of Broly's friends, but the ones who caught a glimpse of them were Beerus and Whis. The ground shook under the impact of their attacks, as Goku and Broly clashed with relentless intensity. The others only watched in awe as the two warriors displayed their incredible strength and skill on the battlefield. Impressive. I've never seen such fierce combat on my planet. Looks like Goku and Broly are fighting with everything they've got. It will be interesting to see who emerges as the victor. Meanwhile, Goku and Broly continued to trade punches and blocks with incredible speed. Both were determined to outdo the other and prove their supremacy as warriors. Incredible, Broly! It looks like you've improved a little since the last time we met! But enough of warming up! We have to use all our power! I hope you know what you're doing, because there'll be no turning back if I use all my strength. With a cry of exertion, Broly channeled all of his energy into a devastating attack, unleashing a blast of dazzling energy that he sent towards where Goku was standing. However, the Saiyan quickly countered with a powerful Kamehameha, causing a powerful burst of energy in the air. As the smoke began to dissipate in the sky, Goku emerged without any fatigue, as he had just demonstrated his strength. Don't worry, Broly. You can trust me to stop you. You can fight with everything you've got. So go ahead. All right, then get ready. Broly at that instant would begin to raise his energy rapidly, enveloping himself in a great green aura, which was extremely intense. At that instant, Broly was accumulating all his power to transform, as he needed to become more enraged to unleash all his strength. And in just an instant, he would unleash all his power and transform into his legendary form, emanating overwhelming power across the entire planet of Beerus. In fact, the God of Destruction would be shocked to see Broly's power, as he could not believe that a Saiyan would have such power without accessing divine forms like the Super Saiyan God. Who knew that Goku was right? That guy is really powerful, much more than when Goku transformed into God Phase the first time. He's right, although it seems like he doesn't have control over that transformation. You can see how his power overflows. It only remains for us to see what Goku will do. Once Broly had transformed, Goku was so excited that he also channeled all his energy to show everyone his new transformation, so you could see his aura glowing with an incredible intensity that lit up the battlefield. His eyes glowed with a fierce determination as he prepared to show his true power. Now I will show you the result of my training. At that instant, Goku unleashed his full power, transforming once again into his new divine form. His energy was overwhelming, much more than Broly's even, so much so that the ground shook beneath his feet. At that moment, Beerus and Whis watched in awe, impressed by Goku's power and determination. One could even say that it was terrifying. It's impossible. In his base form, he had already exceeded my expectations. But what does this new form mean? It seems that he has taken the Ultra Instinct to another level by combining it with his Saiyan instincts. But I never thought he would look so imposing. While they were surprised, Broly at that instant would launch himself with all his anger against Goku, launching a powerful blow of his legendary form. 
Goku at that instant decided to stop him with his hand, causing there to be a powerful clash between Goku and Broly. During the impact, it could be seen that Goku had stopped Broly's punch with only one hand. Besides that, he had not had to make any effort. In spite of that, Broly would continue attacking without any rest, since he had a lot of energy in his legendary form. His attacks resounded in the air, while Goku was in charge of blocking each of his attacks, creating a symphony of destruction and power that shook the planet of Beerus. Broly, even though he was at a disadvantage, would not stop attacking, as in that legendary form he was totally filled with rage. The battlefield became a whirlpool of energy and power, with the two warriors unleashing their full potential in an effort to gain victory. Even if Broly was giving his all, he couldn't land a single hit against Goku, as the difference in strength was tremendous. That's why he began to gather a large amount of energy to create a massive sphere, as he planned to attack Goku with all his power. 